Oh dear, oh dear, just simply, oh dear, 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 dear. Why, Your Majesty, what's all the fussing about? It's terrible, simply terrible. The Serpent King has been reawakened and is threatening my kingdom once more. Serpent King, Your Highness? Yes. I've already sent one brave lad into the crypt in order to subdue it. But it's been far too long since he first embarked. I fear that he, too, is lost. <laughs> Who is this mysterious young lad you sent to fight on your behalf, sire? Eh, uh, I believed he called himself, sir, Sir Benny Boy Green. Benny Boy Green? <laughs> Sounds like you might have a real problem on your hands, Your Grace. I wouldn't trust him to terminate a termite, let alone a serpent king. For goodness sake, why did the king send me to do this dirty work? Oh dear, oh dear, gracious me. Might I ask a favor of you then? Anything. Will you go check on Sir Green? I fear that he is the last remaining hope for my kingdom. You got it, King. I'll see exactly what I can do. Crypt of the Serpent King. Now this here is a prime example of a simple game for simple folk. Like you and me. As a matter of fact, that's probably why they got me, Grassroots Benny, to review the game. Reason being that Benny Boy got this game for 99 cents on the Nintendo Switch store. I bought this game on sale. Uh, for 99 cents. Heck, you could even buy eight dozen eggs with that kind of money back in my day. This here's a hack and slash dungeon crawler, reminiscent of the old Elder Scrolls back in the day, except much less complex. I mean this- OH! <laughs> now that just freaked me out for a bit, cause I didn't expect it! You fight one type of enemy in each dungeon that you encounter, and have to find a set number of keys to unlock the dungeon door that leads to the final boss of the level. Who's gonna fight me next? You? Got him! You're dead, piglet! See? Not much to it. There's one type of enemy per dungeon, so you'll be whacking down the same old coots till your face turns blue and the cows come home. There are three types of treasures you can find. Gold, food, and arrows. Gold lets you buy new weapons before the start of each level. Food replenishes your health, and arrows replenish your ranged weaponry should you have any. Between each level, you can increase your stats to boost health, speed, or strength. Combat is simple enough, sometimes it's easy to just step backwards to dodge, then hit an enemy right after he tries to hit you. Other times you can trick the enemy to attack before he's even close enough by attacking with your weapon first. Simple as pie. That's right. The hardest part of the game is probably timing your jumps right. Most of the time you gotta jump over a pit of spikes or lava in order to reach a key. If you mistime your jump like old Benny here, you'll be taking a dirt nap and enough manure to fill a graveyard. Oh! Oh, oh no. I died to it. The game is pretty short, but I like the kind that are straight and to the point. No muss, no fuss. Just you and your opponents in a duel to the death. Just how I like it. My buddy, Bendo Wudo, found a candy in Pokemon Go. How very good. Well, that's it for old Grassroots here. I'm sure Benny will come out of hiding soon enough. Cause you can bet your lucky dog that if there's a cheap game out there, Benny just might, I'll reiterate, just might, sniff it out real quick like. Y'all come back now, you hear? I did it. We're done. Stop it, stop, stop everything! So, that no good king has enlisted some help in getting rid of that serpent king I reawakened, eh? Well, I'll surely fix that! Boomerang! Gloomerang! Doomerang! Come on, man! I hate you! That'll teach that charlatan king a thing or two about me being much too old for Botox! Harumph! Just between you and me, he could use some of it too! Harumph! Cut! Goodbye, my friends! Goodbye!